What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the table where everybody eat. If it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell, so that way you don't miss out on the levels I bring to you guys each and every day on the stocks that I'm looking at in the market. Like ticker symbol RXRX, Recursion Pharmaceuticals, which I've already made a video on this stock, I believe like two or three weeks ago. You guys can just look it up on my channel, type in RXRX or Recursion Pharmaceuticals. Matter of fact, I have it posted in the top left corner at the end of this video. Also hit that like button for your boy and share this video to your folks. And I want to thank you guys. I'm going to continue to thank you guys because the channel has been growing each and every day. And I feel that it's because I provide these levels to you guys. You like what you see or hear. So if you don't mind, hit that like button. And then YouTube can recommend my video out to other people. And you can share it if you want as well. But ticker symbol RXRX closed at $5.40, nearly 5%, but I could just say 4.65% on the day. And since the last video, I did a little bit of digging on recursion pharmaceuticals just to see if they had any pending news or upcoming news or any events going on with recursion pharmaceuticals. And I ran across something that I overlooked or I didn't know anything about in the prior video, which is that Kathy Wood owns about $164 million worth of this stock. And it has been getting a lot of attention from some big names. One of those names is NVIDIA, which we already knew about. NVIDIA investing, I believe, nearly $50 million into recursion pharmaceuticals and helping them build a supercomputer, which could benefit them in a major way as recursion pharmaceuticals is looking to solve the problem of how time-consuming and expensive drug discovery can be. So the company has linked or partnered with NVIDIA, which will help them develop an AI-powered operating system that features a library of human genes. This operating system is constantly testing clinical compounds against this library. The most promising ones are chosen to be tested in the clinic, and the potential benefits of that could be faster discovery, faster development, lower cost, and longer time spent under patent exclusivity on the market, higher sales, higher profits, and higher margins which means if recursion pharmaceuticals end up having higher profits that could cause the stock to go up which in return would give us higher profits in other words if recursion pharmaceuticals is successful they could transform the pharmaceutical industry besides developing their own medicines recursion will also be able to license out this ai powered operating system to other companies that business might look even more attractive because it is far less cost intensive than developing medicines even if that becomes easier thanks to recursion it would still require tens of millions of dollars to undergo clinical trials, which also would bring us higher margins. Well, bring them higher margins and in return, bring us more profits, which I'm sure that's why Kathy Wood dropped $164 million or whatever I had said earlier on the stock, because she must see the potential that this company has. Now, keep in mind, this is a high risk, high reward play because Recursion has yet to show any kind of evidence that they can convince the investors that their approach works. They're still working with NVIDIA on building this supercomputer and the company doesn't have a single product on the market quite yet, especially after they recently abandoned the development of several compounds. And although management said this was to focus on other more promising candidates, that move still doesn't bode well for a company that claims to be able to transform the way medicines are developed. And with other companies like Novo Nordisk recognizing the potential for AI to transform this industry, they have already had help to build a AI supercomputer in Denmark, which is where their company is based because of the technology's potential across healthcare, including drug development. Now, Recursion hopes that its AI-based operating system will become more fine-tuned than Novo Nordisk thanks to future successes and even failures. In other words, the data from their clinical trials is important, and that's an advantage that more experienced companies such as Novo Nordisk will have older, smaller, younger biotechs like ticker symbol RXRX. Jumping directly to the four-hour chart, and this thing to me looks good. I love this golden zone right here at the $4.13. You remember that from the prior video. Now, we never came back down to test that level or come back down to test this $4.54. But one area I'm noticing at a glance off rip is this range of $4.55 to $4.73. We tested that area perfectly on Monday, June 23rd, and it coincides with a hold of the 50 SMA on the four-hour chart as we continue to trend 
upward. Keeping in mind about this cautious zone if we ever do come back into this area. But the way that this stock looks currently on a four hour chart with the 50 curling up, we have a higher low, a higher low. We have a high here, not making a higher high. We are currently back above that 538. You see, here goes that 585. That we actually got to from our prior video. Made it up a little higher to what this is, a 608. Got rejected, or not rejected. Had a nice little topping wick tail right there. Came back down to retest this. Went back near that 585. Got as high as what that is, 580. Could not go any higher back down. So, sliding down to the one hour time frame. I like how the 50 SMA respected this 538 area came down, but then it also respected this 497, which if you guys have seen, we held that 485 to 490 area pretty well over the past couple of weeks. We've got a slight gap right here on the hour chart that brings us to this 489, 490 area, which that gap actually happened from Monday until Tuesday. But with us retesting this 497 area and going higher, pulling back to retest it again, and the 50 SMA holding and curling up on that, $4.97 area. I'm looking for this 538 to hold. If we go up, maybe do something such as come up into this 585 area, retest this area. Don't worry about my drawing right now. And then go back up, maybe come up into this zone right here. I was talking about all that 608. Come back down, 608. Come back down, come back down. Boom. Maybe one more again. Bong. That may look good. As my overall price target in the near term is approximately six dollars and ninety cents to that psychological level of seven bucks coming through and showing up for the scalpers out there and the day traders on the intraday level i went ahead and brought us to the 15 minute chart however let's reset this thing real quick all right there we go right there i like what i see on this 15 minute chart now again we still got this area here that 489 to 490 like i said with that gap to that 497 i don't necessarily see that coming into play the way that this thing actually came respected this level got here we gapped up but again it came and respected this 497 area to a t on an intraday scale and now we are back above the 50 sma on basically all the time frames thus far now back above that 538 so a break or not a break so a continuation higher and then maybe retest this 538 again would be ideal but even a hold of 512 which i recall 508 to maybe 512 to 518 was a good spot look that is 509 right there now that i see it and it's probably gonna be around 508 so yeah 507 508 is a good hold but anything between 508 and 518 to 520 is a nice range on a pullback not financial advice that's just something that i would do and what i'm seeing according to the levels so that's what we got on rxrx thank you guys for watching this video much love we out